Hello, and welcome to Hank vs. Wild. In this video, I explore a small part of the San Rafael wilderness to see if I can discover any foraging opportunities. The San Rafael Swell is a high desert region located in central Utah on the Colorado Plateau. With an average annual rainfall of only 10 inches, I expect that finding water here will be a major challenge. One strategy to find water is to head downhill. If you keep heading downhill, you will almost always eventually find water. So far I have only seen dry washes and no streams or springs. So now I am heading for a flat rocky area, hoping that there will be some water trapped there from recent rains. Lucky for me, there is water here. One little puddle with nothing else around. The water is a bit murky, and I would hesitate to drink straight from it. Looks like a good time to try out my LifeStraw personal water filter. Lightweight and affordable, I think this is a good item for any survival pack. Simple to use, it works just like a straw. In case you were wondering, the water that comes out tastes fine. It's just like any other filtered water. Now that I am fully hydrated, it's time to keep moving. To see what else I can find out here. The search for food is not really going well so far. There seems to be a lack of any living creatures. And the things I have seen are not edible. These beetles emit a foul odor when provoked. These paddle cactus are supposed to be edible, but they have so many spines that I don't think it's worth it to clean them for the amount of food I would get. As I explore further, the climate begins to change. I have now reached a woodland belt of juniper and pine trees. Still no signs of edible life, however. So I keep searching, hoping to find something. And there it is, the San Rafael River. It's a long way down, and very steep. A river would increase my chances of finding food, and I would very much like to get down there. So I move along the edge until I find a tributary canyon that looks like it could lead me to it. I just need to find the mouth of this canyon to get down in there. And here we go. This looks like a good place to start my descent.
there are so many pools of water trapped in this canyon, so I do take advantage of that while I'm here. Looks like the end of the line for me. This cliff is way too steep, and I'm too tired to keep looking for a way down. So now I'll have to head back to the plateau and keep searching for food up there. Looks like I'm too late in the season for pine nuts. These pine cones have already opened up and released their seeds. But I do manage to spot a handful of immature cones that have not opened up, and those may contain seeds still. I attempt to force them open by heating them for over an hour, but it doesn't work. They don't have any nuts inside. So what now? I have noticed a lot of little patches of grass around, and they're making seeds. I'm going to grind these seeds between a couple of stones, add a little water, and cook it on a hot rock, making a sort of primitive bread patty. While grass is known to be non-toxic, the seeds contain a scaly husk known as chaff. This chaff may irritate the digestive system, depending on what type of grass it is. For this reason, I am only testing a small amount at first, to see if it is a viable food source. I chew it for a very long time to be sure it seems okay before I swallow it. The bread didn't cause me any problems, and I would eat it again. I feel that I'm beginning to get to know this land, and with a little more research and practice, my understanding is sure to grow. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.